To get started with Lockdown and Resolve, edit the clip that you want to track, right click the clip, and create a new Fusion clip. This is just going to shorten it so it's easier to manage while you're tracking. With my clip selected, I'll enter Fusion, go to Open Effects, and put Lockdown between the in and out. Then open the pop out. When you click this gear icon, there's this option to enable disc caching. It's going to be off by default. I would highly recommend you turn it on. If you have extra disc space, this option will save your tracking data. And after the first time you track a point, tracking will be much faster on any given shot. It's off by default because some users don't have a lot of disc space to spare. Control click and drag around the area you want to track. There are two tracking modes. The default is very fast. However, if you run into any tracking difficulty at all, I would highly recommend switching to the extremely accurate tracking mode. Press track all. And here's how it looks. Next, you need to choose which frame you want to paint or apply graphics to. On the first frame, the sheep looks like it's standing upright. That might be a good frame to apply paint to. On the last frame, he's a little bent over, so the text might look curved. Go to the first frame and press Set Lockdown Mesh UV Frame. If you go into the Stabilize UV Layout tab, watch the mesh closely as I press this tab, see how it's in exactly the same place? I'll scrub through this and you can see that the mesh is sitting in place and there's a little bit of video motion underneath it. All you need to know is that where these points sit on the screen is where you're going to apply your graphics. I'll close the pop-out window. This is a very strange bug that we're still trying to fix. You'll notice that you can't see anything here. If you click on this window and press A for alpha, and A again, everything comes back. We don't know if Resolve is causing this or if Lockdown is causing this, but we're hoping we can have this fixed soon. To apply graphics, let's make some text. I'm going back to the first frame where I pressed Create Lockdown Mesh UV, and then I'll create text and place it into the Lockdown Graphics Comp slot. And you'll notice that you can't see the text. Select Lockdown, and go to Plug and Display, and choose Graphics Comp. Well, right now, you can't actually see the text. Why is that? Because it's not in the right position compared to the frame that you wanted to paint on. So I'll drag this over to the left, and now you can see it. We'll address how to simplify this in a moment, but let's see this over the background first. I'll create a merge node, and put Lockdown into the foreground slot, and the original footage into the background. And then I'll connect this output to the media out. From here it should be a little bit easier to adjust this text. And maybe I'll set my apply mode from normal to multiply, just so it looks a little nicer. So you can see that's tracking and it's that easy. But let's talk about the positioning of the text because this is one of the most important concepts in Lockdown. Remember that when we were in the pop-out, we pressed Set Lockdown Mesh UV Frame on the first frame as is indicated by these green bars, meaning that the position of the mesh right here on the left side of the screen on the first frame is where the text is going to first apply and then be tracked forward as the mesh moves. This is why the text is undistorted on the first frame. And as we move forward, it settles into a deformed position as the mesh deforms. But what if we decided we wanted to paint on this frame? We could go into Lockdown, and on the last frame, press Set Lockdown Mesh UV Frame. In the UV tab, you'll notice that the mesh is now in this position, being stabilized and held still here. And now when we exit the pop-out, you can't see the text. That's because the text is positioned on the left side of the screen, but that mesh is on the right. We can move this over, and it will appear nice and flat here, and settle into a distorted position as it moves this direction. So I'll just undo that because I like how it looked before. So how do we make this easier to see and more intuitive? Well, we need to visualize the mesh. So after you're done tracking, you can duplicate your lockdown effect, put your footage into it, 
and let's view this in the left window. And instead of graphics comp, set it to stabilized mesh. And this is how it looks when it plays. The video is being held still for the purposes of making it easier to apply graphics and paint. So for example's sake, let's actually put the text over the top of this background and put that result into lockdown. I'll view this merge node in the left window. And going back to my other merge node, now it would make sense to instead of have this as multiply, set it to normal. So now when I move this text, it's going to make a lot more sense. I'll zoom in slightly. You can see when it's outside of the mesh, this stabilized mesh matching the deforming mesh, you're not actually going to see it. Placing it inside of the mesh keeps it in the working area. This stabilized mesh is actually being rendered in tracks to the original footage. So if I wanted to continue with my transfer mode, I'd actually have to apply it on this merge node. Let's take a look at how painting works. You would paint on top of the stabilized mesh. I'll place my paint node after lockdown and view this in this first window. And just for example's sake, I'll draw something here. You can see how that paint follows through and tracks to the sheep. So for the purposes of cleanup, I'll undo this. If I wanted to clone stamp on here, I could grab the clone tool and find a pattern to repeat. I don't know why I would do this, but maybe I wanted to draw these dots all along the sheep. Really all I want to show here is that you're able to clone stamp and paint. And then we have other cleanup tutorials, which you can reference that might be a little bit more practical. The reason why the paint tracks properly is because on the stabilized view, the sheep's wool is being held still. And of course the paint strokes are completely still. So because they're both still, they work together and then their motion is returned back to the original video. Those are the absolute basics of getting started with lockdown. All of the relevant tutorials are at ascripts.com lockdown, starting from the top of the page and scrolling down. Thanks for watching.